Hey everyone, Manda here. I'm back again today with another process video and I'm just starting out with a 4x4 photo that I took on Instagram which I've changed to black and white. It's just a picture of me and Wix. Yes, another cat photo. And as if you don't know already, I'm a crazy cat lady. I don't have kids so I scrap a lot of cat photos. Now I'm just marking off where I'm going to place that photo because I'm going to add some watercolours to the background. And I've gone through all my 6x6 paper pads and just chosen colours that are an aqua in aqua in tone and I'm cutting them to one inch by four by four. Um, sorry, one inch by four. Now the idea for this layout came from one I saw recently on Pinterest by Studio Calico member Andrea Collects. And I really liked how she used an ombre effect with the um, strips of paper and with a black and white photo. So I'm using that idea as a base and then I'm adding some stamping and watercolours to it as well and building it up on top with some embellishments. You'll have to excuse the lighting on the video today. There's lots of shadows. Uh, I shot this this morning in the studio so I got a lot of direct sunlight but it was cloudy one minute and then really really bright sunshine the next so I've got lots of shadows um, coming across the paper as I work so sorry about that and now I'm just going through and working out where I want to put each piece on of the paper that I've cut up now what I'm going to do is once I've worked out roughly where I want to put it I'm going to remove it all and use um, watercolor in the background I'm actually going to show you how I do my watercolours. I'm not a watercolour artist by any means and I often see these beautiful layouts on Pinterest and blogs and online galleries with fabulous watercolour backgrounds. I don't really know how people do that so I have my own way of doing it and basically what I do is take my trusty watercolour set. This one just came from Big W which I guess is kind of like Walmart in the States I think. Not sure. Anyway, it's just a kid's watercolour set. You wouldn't do a landscape with it, but it's perfect for just using on a layer. And I kind of mix the colour I want and then paint it in a big wet blob where I want it to be. And once I've got that down, I then take a paper towel and lift up the remaining water, which you'll see in a moment. And instead of looking like big blue forced blobs like this, it comes out with a bit of a I'm good at watercolour effect. <laughs> so uh, it's probably not the correct way to do it, but it works for me. And I do add a little bit more here and there as I go along just to make it look proper watercolour, I guess. Now I'm just adding down the strips of paper. Now these were all meant to be cut at one inch by four inches. And somewhere in my measurements, I think that very first piece I've put down, I have kind of shortchanged myself a bit. So you see when I get to the end I have a strip of white um, which I need to cut off. Here I am just adding some more watercolour and again I'll just mop it up so it looks like you know, there's been layers of watercolour there. So anyway as I was saying I, I'm a bit short on the green papers so I end up cutting off the side of the white cardstock and also the bottom and then I mount it on a coordinating piece of cardstock which actually works out quite well because the watercolors has warped the back, uh, the background cardstock a little bit so it gives it a nice steady base and once that's done I'm going to start adding some stamping in black ink now I have always used VersaFine ink and recently I was lucky enough to get one of the Heidi Swap Black Archival inks. I'm not sure if they're available in Australia yet. I know that Olga at Sassy Scrappers had some but I haven't seen them anywhere else out here. I know you can get them from Michaels in the States. Anyway, fantastic ink pad. If you can get your hands on one, get it while you can because it's really, really great. So I've just gone through my stamp collection and just picked out pretty much random stamps and just placing them wherever I think they'll look good. Uh, a lot of these stamps that I'm using here are Studio Calico from Kits when I was a subscriber. Excuse my head there. If I had known my head was going to be in shot, I probably would have brushed my hair this morning. <laughs> um, there's a bit of a lazy weekend hairdo there. 
Anyway, as I was saying, most of these were from Studio Calico kits when I was a subscriber and I've also used some Amy Tangerine ones and also um, Kelly Perky exclusive stamps. Now, I found this little wood veneer, I don't know where it's from, but I wanted it to be black to match the stamping and so I have coloured it with my Prima Chalk um, edger. I don't use my chalk edges for edging, I use them for colouring pieces of veneer and also for doing bits of coloured stamping. I don't have a lot of coloured stamp pads, uh, I do have the Tim Holtz Distress ones, but they don't always work so well on an acrylic stamp if you want a good crisp image. Uh, so I just use my chalk edges and they work fine for me. I'm trying to stamp more often on layouts. I have so many great, really great stamps that I've collected from kits and bought separately, but I just never seem to use them. So I'm trying to add a bit more to layouts and I think this is a fun way to do it. So now I'm just going through and pulling some embellishments from my stash and adding here and there. There's no real plan, just going by sight. Um, there's some flair there from Studio Calico label from My Mind's Eye and then some epoxy shapes and paper clips from Freckled Fawn. I really love the word paper clips. Um, I got some loved ones in a kit a while back but now they've released a few other kinds that you can just buy separately. And now I'm adding some acrylic stars from Freckled Fawn and of course some enamel dots. So once all of that's in place, I'm just going to add my title in some thickers down the bottom. Now the thickers I'm using are from Amy Tangerine. If anyone knows what collection it is, please let me know because I have no idea. Um, my thickers always fall off the sheets and I end up taking them out of the packets and throwing the packets away. And sometimes I just keep them in a plastic sleeve, which I have here. Now I don't know which thick as they are. Anyway, I have no O's left after I've put this one down and that doesn't really work for the word photobomb. So I'm just going to take one of the cues and do a bit of cosmetic surgery and um, I'm right to go. So that's pretty much my finished up layer. I'm going to add some Heidi Swap Black Colour Shine in the Black Velvet, which is a really, really beautiful um, product. It does really beautiful ink splats. Yeah, and then once I'm done with that, i have finished page. So thank you so much for joining me again here on my YouTube channel. I will be back again soon with another video. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch and happy crafting.